Good morning, Bethel family. It's so good to be with you today. Uh, regret not being able to be there in person, but we're so excited to join you online. Welcome to this morning's word of encouragement. I pray that each one of you are well with the inclement weather and uh, staying safe uh, with all the ice that is in our area. Uh, we thank God for this day, the opportunity for uh, us to gather together through this means uh, online, and we pray that um, each one of you uh, have what you need uh, during this time. Would you go to the Lord with me in prayer as we um, hear from the Lord, from his word this morning. God, we thank you, God, for God this day you've given us. I pray, Lord, that you would speak to each one, God, as we are in our homes, Lord. Um, God, and I pray, Lord, that God, in spite of what might be going on, uh, God, in the world uh, and God, all around us, Lord, that you would comfort us, Lord, that you would help us to know, God, um, certainly, Lord, that you are in charge. Yeah, you are not caught off guard by a single thing, Lord. And we thank you for uh, this word this morning. Would you speak through it, God, to our hearts? Uh, and may we rest, Lord, in who you are and advance your kingdom here today. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So I don't know uh, if you are aware, but the uh, Bible plan has been going through the entire book of Genesis. And I won't say uh, much along those lines today, although there's uh, much that I have heard, uh, many good testimonies and reports, um, those that have been very blessed by the reading of the Word. So again, wrapping up Genesis today, but also uh, moving continually through the book of Acts and Revelation. And an uh, encouraging thing about uh, the scripture this morning is there is the great gospel message. Of course, you know, we could go through John 3.16 uh, and, and discuss the great truth of God's Word to you, but here... In Acts uh, chapter 4, uh, verse 12, you can see uh, as much the gospel presented in a, a short bit here as in any spot in the entire Bible. So uh, let's read God's word together. Again, this is Acts 4, chapter 4, verse 12. And there is salvation in no one else, for there's no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Now this is talking about Jesus himself. Uh, him being the stone that the builders rejected, him becoming the chief cornerstone. And the encouraging thing is with all the things in the world that, that could be grasped onto to be, to be looked at um, as a source of hope and truth, we know that Jesus himself is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one comes to the Father but by him, and that there's no other name under heaven given by which we are to be saved. And that should be an encouraging thing for us, that God himself made himself known, um, came from heaven to earth, uh, Emmanuel, God with us, uh, making this all possible, tearing the veil of the temple so that he could have this relationship with us. So this is the great news, the, the hope and the truth of the gospel, um, again today found within the book of Acts. And I pray that that is the encouragement of your life, and that if it's news to you, uh, that it's something that uh, you grasp onto and hold onto it tightly. If it's something that you've known for a while, that the truth and the excitement, the passion of that a word would be as alive in you as it ever has been, even back to when you first may have heard that great truth. And also in the uh, book of Revelation to the church of Thyatira, there is a letter. And there's another uh, great encouragement, I believe, for us, even within this letter. There's much to be um, talked about in the larger context, but just verse 19, you can see the truth elucidated of, I know your works, your love and faith, and service and patient endurance, and that your latter works exceed the first. So it's easy to grow weary of well-doing, but I pray that that is not the case with you, that by the Spirit that you are growing in the Lord, wherever you may be at, wherever you may be this morning in your walk with the Lord, um, that you cling on to the first truth of Acts 4.12, and that you are to continually grow in the Lord, that you uh, can say the same for yourself, that the latter works exceed the first. And we know that we're not saved by works. We know that it's his righteousness, the perfection of Christ that would get us into heaven. Um, would he to, to come back right now? Um, we know there's nothing that uh, is preventing that from happening. Everything prophetically has been completed. Christ could come back uh, just at the twinkling of an eye and be coming on the clouds of glory. And we look forward to that day. But if that were to happen, it's not anything you do that will save you. It's his righteousness. It's his perfection in the work on the cross that will make the difference. But even so, accepting Christ for all that he's done and having that faith in him is still to be a wonderful thing, commendable thing to continue to grow and to be 
improving in love and faith, service, patient endurance. Uh, I pray that this is something that through whatever means, through, through prayer, through Bible study, through uh, just being in God's Word, through being engaged in your community, to being an encouragement to those around you, offering a, a neighbor uh, a helping hand, uh, being someone that is uh, willing to go the extra mile to those that, that would not um, be able to receive help from those people. Certainly that's the way that Christ lived his life as an example, a model to us showing that salvation is for everyone. And anyone that would call upon him um, it has no difference of creed or class, um, any kind of a, a ethnic background or circumstance that we would maybe look at and try to uh, draw categories. Christ has set it apart. That if you come to him, um, that is the way. That's the only difference. And so would you be about that life? Would you be about um, modeling this in your own personal walk in the circle of influence that God has given you? We pray that your latter works would be greater than your first, uh, that you would continue to stay, take steps to spiritual maturity, uh, that getting in the Word has been an encouragement to you to whatever level, that you are growing in God and godliness. We thank you for uh, your dedication to the Lord, um, looking at all of the great things that he'll be doing. We have the business meeting upcoming uh, the third week uh, of February, and we're so thankful for each of you, uh, the many blessings that you are to us in the body of Christ, and we're looking forward to all the wonderful things that God is going to do locally in this community even in 2021. We pray that God may be with you, that he bless you, his face shine upon you, and that you would be an encouragement this week in his name for his glory. God bless you.